Augmented reality technology creates new immersive experiences, not only in entertainment and games, but also in education, retail, and social media. However, AR content is often primarily visual and exposes neither the semantics nor the interfaces that would enable it to be accessed by accessibility services such as screen readers. In order to understand how to make AR apps accessible, we first performed an analysis of the functionality and design of existing apps. From this, we characterized the design space consisting of a set of common constituent tasks in AR. We then created five prototype accessible alternatives of these tasks. For scanning the physical environment, the app provides scanning progress through voiceover about new surfaces, their type, and sizes. Walk around the room and slowly pan the camera to scan. New horizontal plane found. New horizontal plane found. New horizontal plane found. Scan three surfaces. Total of 3.9 square meters. New vertical plane found. For camera-based placement of virtual objects, as users walk around the room, the app uses the position of the phone to place virtual objects on real-world surfaces. Confirm. Button. You are now holding a base. Base moved to a new surface. Confirm. Next task. Button. For guided placement of virtual objects, the app generates candidate positions for an object based on the available surfaces, then asks the user a series of questions to place it. Where would you like to place the object on the floor? Button. Where on the floor? In the center. In a corner. On an edge. Button. Face the edge that you would like to place the object on. Then press the confirm button below to place the object. Confirm. Button. Confirm. Next task. For camera-based search of virtual objects, the app provides verbal feedback about the objects as the user scan the camera around the space. Close to the pink face. Confirm button. Confirm. Confirm. Button. Confirm. Move around to find the end task. Button. Found purple vase 0.5 meters away. Left purple vase. Found blue chair 1.6 meters away. Left blue chair. Found purple vase 0.6 meters away. For guided search of virtual objects, the app provides a list of objects in the space, and users can select one to get directions to it. Gray chair. Pink vase. Black chair. Button. Black chair is 1.1 meters to the right. Black chair is 1.0 meters to the right. Black chair is 0.6 meters to the right. Black chair is 0.4 meters in front of you. Black chair is zero close to the black chair. With these constituent tasks, we then created two apps that combine them into accessible AR experiences. In the furniture app, users can first scan the room, then select from a list of furniture to place them using the camera-based placement technique. Add furniture. Cancel. Button. Items. Mahogany chair with blue cushion. Button. Maho Confirm placement. You are now holding the mahogany chair with blue cushion. Item doesn't fit here. Item fits here. Confirm placement. Found mahogany. Add furniture. Button. Left mahogany chair with blue cushion. In the solar system app, Users can first face an open area of the room to place a model of the planets, then use camera-based search to get more information about each one. Face an empty area of the room, then press the confirm button below to place the planets in front of... Confirm. Button. Confirm. A model of the solar system appears. This model is approximately 161 millionths the size of the actual solar system. Next. Button. Next. For example, the Earth model here is 8 centimeters wide, but Earth is actually almost 8,000 miles wide. Next. Button. Next. An animation place that resizes all planets so they are each 30 centimeters wide. Select a planet to learn more about it. Found Jupiter 0.9 meters away. Conf found Mark. Confirm. Button. Confirm. In the study with 10 blind participants, we show that these prototypes make AR possible to use and reveal a number of insights for going forward. We believe our work sets forth not only exemplars for developers to create accessible AR applications, but also a roadmap for future research to make AR comprehensively accessible.